<laughs> okay, in this lesson we're going to um, set scheduled times for domestic hot water. So to do that, <clears throat> we click on the bottom right hand corner button and there's three things we need to learn or remember. We need to select schedules, set schedules and adjust our presets. Three things, one, two, three. If we go down, we can go to select schedules tank temperature, click on OK. User defined one, click on OK. User defined one is the setting we're going to use on our daily program. If we go back, we've now select the schedules. We need to set our schedules. We go into user settings. We go into set schedules, but before we do that, we'll select our preset values. So we we'll go to preset values, click on OK. We want to select our preset values for our hot water tank temperature. Click on OK. Storage comfort. We're going to select storage comfort at our highest temperature, storage eco at our medium demand, and reheat at our lowest. So storage comfort, we for this job, um, we've got medium amount of hot water required so we'll set that at 55 storage eco that will be a lower set point temperature we will set that at 48 okay that's our medium and so that we don't run out of water our constant reheat we will set at about 43 okay so the tank will never drop below 43 degrees that means that when we do ask the system to heat the hot water, then it's not having to heat the hot water from such a low value. If you would like the hot water to be heated in a controlled fashion, then you would select scheduled only. At the moment we have scheduled and reheat selected. If you selected scheduled only, or scheduled only, then reheat would not be available. If we go back, we've selected our storage comfort, storage eco and reheat. If we go back, and we go back again, we go up to set schedules and click on OK. We go down to tank temperature, click on OK. We want to change user defined one, and click on OK. On Monday, we want to um, Let's just make up some times. We always want to set our hot water up at times at which we don't care if our space heating goes off. So at times when you're in bed or you're out. So in the morning we have a high demand. We're going to set the hot water on at 2 o'clock and we're going to take it to the higher temperature of storage comfort. We start having showers at maybe 6 or 8 o'clock so then we might want to um, depending on the customer's requirement. We might want to heat the hot water again at 8 o'clock if you've got somebody at home. Um, otherwise, you may want to just do two storage comforts, one at 2 o'clock in the morning at one, at 1 or 2 in the afternoon, and then throughout the day it will use the constant reheat to the lower value. But the, we've always got somebody at home, so we're actually going to take the tank to a higher temperature, 55 at 2 o'clock in the morning. At 8 o'clock in the morning we'll take it to 48 degrees with our storage eco and then outside those hours we will do the reheat. So in the afternoon we want to, uh, we have another high demand so we'll change that uh, and heat it up again to our higher temperature at, um, at 2 o'clock. So we want storage comfort there and then at maybe 6 o'clock we'll go storage eco again so that's 1800 go storage eco and between those times it will use the reheat value as we said we click on OK we go down to copy day click on OK we change we copy across to every day unless you want to set different schedules for each day. So using the up and across button, we're copying it from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. 
we click on OK. We click on OK again. You think you've copied it, but we need to save the schedule. This is the most important thing. Click on OK. We want to save it to user defined one. Click on OK. If we now go back in, we can have a look and see what we've actually got set. So tank temperature, we click on OK. We click on OK. As you can see, we've got 2 o'clock storage comfort, 8 o'clock storage eco, 2 o'clock in the afternoon storage comfort, and 6 o'clock storage eco. If we scroll through the days, you can see we're going down, and every day is set the same. Now, if you set custom values up in the field settings for domestic hot water, then at these points here you would select fixed values. The benefit in using terminology words instead of fixed values is that your customer does not have to touch these scheduled times. If they're running out of any hot water at certain times of the day, we can go back, back, back again and go to preset values. They do not have to touch the times, they can come down to tank temperature. They can change their storage comfort if they don't have enough hot water at early hours of the morning and late in the afternoon. They could take that up to 60 degrees for argument's sake. <clears throat> and then their reheat might be a bit low so they might want to keep a base temperature of 45. Click on OK. Now, instead of changing all of the schedule times, which could get them confused, they've just up changed those temperatures and increased the values, and they have replicated to all of the schedule times. If we go back, back, back again, do you want to restart? Click on OK. The unit will restart. Once the unit restarts, we can then go in and have a look at the tank screen and it will tell us our next scheduled icon. Oh, it will have icons up and show us what our next schedule will be for domestic hot water. It should tell us if we're increasing the tank temperature or decreasing the tank temperature, depending on whatever we've got scheduled and the current time. Once it initialises, um, we'll go to our tank screen by pushing the home button in the bottom left hand corner. Can take up to a minute depending on um, what you've changed. So whenever you're on the tank screen or the space heating screen, this is your on and off button up here. The green light must be illuminated for the uh, either the space heating to be active on schedule time or override and the domestic hot water. Okay, so if we have a look at this now, we've got our space heating screen. We'll go to our tank screen. It's saying our next increase, you can see the arrow going up, is at two o'clock in the afternoon. We have storage comfort currently set to 60 degrees okay and the icons you can see you've got a shower and a clock which the shower and the clock itself is um, shower is reheat and the clock is scheduled so we're using the scheduled and reheat. If you want to boost your hot water you move over to the muscle man and it will boost it to whatever temperature is shown up here. Okay, And that's it for your domestic hot water. Always make sure for your hot water that the green light is left on. If it is off, then your schedule not, will not be active and your hot water will not be heated. Thank you very much and I'll see you again soon. Bye.